Hello there, let's take a look at SAP Business Objects Web Intelligence 4.0. I've targeted this demo towards end users or report consumers and not necessarily towards the power user. Uh, in this demo we'll take a look at uh, logging into BA Launchpad, setting up your preferences and the other items mentioned here. So here's the BA Launchpad. You should be able to get the link to this from your IT department. Once you go into the launchpad, you may or may not be prompted for your password, a username password. In some cases, it's a seamless login where you're logged in directly. Once you log in, you would then see the Home tab, which might look something similar to this, where you would see your most recently viewed documents, uh, most recently run documents, and uh, any messages that have been sent to your inbox in BA Launchpad. Uh, and any alerts uh, we will refer to those later the alerts and all those but up here you have the documents tab also and then you have something called my documents uh, folders uh, categories and search let's look at my documents my documents is more like the my documents on your computer where you would say uh, you would see only the reports that you have saved personally uh, that are visible only to you and not to any other user. Then you have the folders here which is more like the public uh, folders where uh, more than uh, one person would normally have access. Many people in the organization would see these folders. Uh, let's say uh, you want to go to demo reports. Now what I personally like to do is when I log in, I do not like to see the home pad. I like to, I mean the home tab, I like to see the documents tab with any particular folder that I visit more often. To do that, what you do is go to preferences. In the general option, uncheck the use default setting. Select document tab, select folder, select public folder, browse for the folder. And then here you would select the folder that you use more often. So let's say public folders and under that I want demo reports. Uh, so I select it from here and this enables the open button here. Keep in mind that if I select demo reports from here, the open button is not enabled. So I need to, whatever folder that you want has to be selected from the right hand side here. Click on open and then after you do a save and close. So next time what happens when I log in is it will automatically take me to that folder. See it brings me to demo reports. Uh, and then under the folder I can see the various reports that I have access to or the various documents that I have access to. In this case I have only webby documents, web intelligence documents. Let's take a look at this one that says eFashion annual revenue without prompts. I could just double click on it and that will show me my report. In many cases the report is automatically refreshed and open depending on how it's been set up by the document creator. If it's not uh, set to refresh and open you could manually refresh it by clicking on the blue icon here and that will refresh your data. Uh, this is not changing anything for me because uh, my data stay there. It's stagnant data for the demo. What else? Uh, you could also schedule this report to run on a regular basis. What you would do for that is right click on the report and say schedule. <coughs> Over here you would go to recurrence and instead of doing run now you would say run let's say uh, as an example on a daily basis and then you could set up a time for example if you want to run it daily at 9 a.m. in the morning you know you could do that uh, and then click on schedule what this will do is every day the report will start uh, running at 9 a.m. Uh, the first instance is probably going to happen now wherein uh, you see it's in the running state in a couple of seconds this report is pretty fast because it has very less data in the next couple of seconds uh, you would see that it's successful and there it is uh, let me close this window which is the history window I'll talk about it in a moment now after 
you have the report run on a regular basis or if you have run it or scheduled it to run right now if you go back to the report and right click you have two options one is view and one is view latest instance ideally you want to do view latest instance because that will give you the last run successful instance so this gives you the data for the last run successful instance uh, we will also take a look at how we can export data to export data you would click on this icon here and then you could export it as a PDF or Excel or you could also export it as a CSV file I will talk of the difference between document and current report in a moment what else do I have here uh, let's take a look at a document with prompts now this is the same report but it has some prompts in it what are prompts prompts are basically some values that you would enter while refreshing the report this will enable you to get a different subset or a different set of data in your report as an example when I refresh this report I am prompted for year and state for year you see by default this report was run for these three years let's say I wanted I was interested in data only for 2006 then I would select 2004 and 5 use the shift arrow or con I mean use the shift and uh, arrows or you could use your mouse and then click on this left arrow button here that would take out everything else and just leave 2006 and let me go to states uh, here you see the reports being run only for California but let's say I was interested in California and New York I would select New York from the left hand side list here and click on the arrow here and say run query and this will give me data for only 2006 and if I go to this other tab you see that it gives me data for California and New York now a uh, going back to the previous topic of exporting a document and uh, as opposed to exporting a report these multiple tabs that you see down here are what actually are what reports are uh, ad revenues a report annual revenues a report revenue by state is another report and so on just like the various tabs in Excel so of course if you export the current report it would just export this tab and uh, if you export the document it would export the entire document with all the various tabs so uh, let's just go ahead and do a quick uh, save as Excel it'll do the same way as you would do from any web document so you could save it and then select a location or uh, you could directly open it also like you just do a Excel and then you could direct, do a direct open but I'm not going to do that right now what else uh, when you are scheduling your report if you have prompts and you want to change your prompts this is how you would do it say schedule go to recurrence if you want it to work multiple times or if you want it to work just once normally if you're going to schedule I think you would do it multiple times uh, the only reason why you would do it now is let's say uh, your report takes a few seconds or a minute or two or let's say a minute or so to refresh you would just do now and hit on schedule you know and you could later come back into BA Launchpad to see the uh, refreshed instance if you want to change the prompt values you go to prompt here click on modify these are the default values uh, let's say I want to run it for 2005 and 6 then I click on 4 and remove that value and from states perspective let's say I was interested only in California so I would select the rest of the states remove them from the left right hand side box here list box and before I schedule I have to make sure I click on apply and once I do that you'll see that those values are visible here then I go ahead and do a schedule and uh, this is showing me that it's in pending state if I just go ahead and refresh here it's in running state now and in the next couple of seconds this should be successful in the meantime let me show you uh, how you go back to the history tab if you wanted to you would click on your report and say history 
right click on your board basically and say history and that will show you the various instances that are visible to you normally uh, I would to say that you can see only the instances that have been refreshed by you or scheduled by you not the ones that have been scheduled by others uh, obviously for security concerns uh, so let's see this last report that we scheduled or the last document that we scheduled with uh, data only for California and the two years 2005 and 6 is now available I could just click on the date or on the report name to see the report this brings me the report again uh, yeah that was just showing you how to schedule the report and how to modify the prompts again you here's where you do export data from one other feature here is let's say you are running your report for all years or there's a lot of data in your report and for your particular analysis at a moment you are available or you are interested only in some particular state you could put a filter here for that what you do is click on the filter bar and click on this yellow icon here and then that will give you the various options by which uh, you can add filters so let's say I'm interested in putting filters for state and I'll do one more which is let's say for time period year this will give these two drop downs up here which I could select from you know I could select a state from if I wanted and uh, a year from the year if I wanted so let's say 2004 and California that gives me the data for California in 2004 and uh, respectively for different years and uh, yep for various states this is what you would see for Colorado for example there is no data for uh, multiple cities so that's what you see uh, again you could remove the filters by just going here if you don't want them and you could clear off this tab again if you want by just clicking on the filter bar uh, that's kind of it for a very first glimpse on how to use web intelligence for the end users uh, yeah I uh, hope it was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching